When EuroLeague newcomer Olivier Hanlon arrived to Jalgiris Kaunas from Canada over the summer, he didn't know what this new competition had in store for him. Nonetheless, he adapted quickly, scoring 14 points in his debut and going on to become the best three-point shooter and third best scorer for Jalgiris through the team's first 20 EuroLeague games. Growing up in a country where ice hockey is king, adapting was necessary for Hanlon to rise high in a different sport. But he was fortunate to have had all the support he needed right in his own family from a young age. Basketball, I started playing when I was really young. Uh, my dad, my father played basketball. My little brother played basketball. My older sister played basketball. My younger sister. So it was kind of just a family thing. And just growing up, everybody played it around me. So it was kind of easy to get into. And eventually, I started taking it more serious and, uh, you know, played on teams like, uh, you know, my national team. And after that, I went to Boston College and went all, all over the place for basketball. So it's been a good ride so far. Despite not having a great reputation for developing lots of basketball players, Canada still had plenty of opportunities to offer Hanlon. Where I'm from in, in, uh, in Quebec, hockey's big, so it was not that popular, I would say, compared to when I moved to you know, the States to go play in prep school where everybody played and everybody took it a lot more serious. But uh, definitely had you know, some good people surrounding me that kind of you know, helped me keep on getting better and working hard even if the competition was not that good. I definitely had, you know, a lot of resources in terms of kind of getting started with basketball and getting good to a point where, you know, I moved to the States with, you know, better competition and, you know, just kept on going up from there. Upon entering college, Hanlon was voted the Atlantic Coast Conference Rookie of the Year, but his basketball career remained connected to Canada. He was there during summer stages with the country's national teams, and he met another point guard for the first time, national legend Steve Nash. About two years ago, and uh, you know, I played on national teams a few times, and you know, this past summer I was with them in Toronto, and you know, having somebody like that in your corner to just kind of teach you a few things or just you know, pick his brain a bit is definitely something that's helpful for me. Being from the same country and playing the same position, Hannon was completely aware of the kind of influence that Nash has in Canadian basketball. A lot of people look up to him, especially you know whenever you play the same position as somebody that uh, is at the level that you're trying to achieve is definitely something that's you know motivating. Among the things that Hanlon admired about Nash was seeing how the former NBA MVP got the most out of the game. How he maximized, you know, not being the most athletic guy on the court, but being, you know, efficient and effective at the same time. He was never, you know, the most athletic or the fastest guy on the court, but uh, if you can watch his games, you know, if you watch his game you know, all around, you know, throughout his career, you know, he had some pretty amazing games. And just to see how he, you know, what he does, uh, you know, with what he has, you know, it's pretty, it's pretty amazing to me. And that just goes to show that, you know, his IQ is off the charts. It was that IQ that Hanlon had special access to whenever he went home to Canada. Every summer, whenever I participated in the, you know national team stuff, you know he was there in the gym and working out sometimes after and kind of you know asking him a whole bunch. Just general questions, just about basketball, really helped me. The view on the game, obviously, I'm a point guard. Uh, you know, he was a point guard, so just things like, you know, coming off a ball screen, seeing different looks, or just seeing how he, you know, comes off a ball screen kind of just helps me. So it was kind of just little things like that, just point guard stuff. Apart from the finer points of playing their position, once Hanlon knew he was signing his contract with Jalgiris last summer, Nash also had good advice for him on what to expect as a pro. He just told me, you know, to be ready for, you know, the professional level, and uh, he said I was coming to a great spot. And, you know, a lot of people know about, you know, a spot specifically, just, you know, everybody loves basketball here, so it kind of makes that, uh, it makes that a lot easier for us players to go out there and compete. But uh, just kind of becoming a professional, you know, it's not college anymore, uh, you know, it's, it's your job and kind of putting your hours in every day and, you know, extra time is what's going to separate you from, uh, you know, the rest.